Greetings again, everyone. Mr. Morgan here from the technical department. Today, I'll be showing you how to bisect a line. I will now go ahead and draw my border and title block. Now that I've done my border and title block, I will now be showing you how to bisect a line. I will now draw a line and, and I will bisect this line. The length of this line is 5 centimeters. What I did is that I drew a construction line. I will now use my set square and I will outline exactly my five centimeters. Here you can see I just outlined my five centimeters. What I will now do is that I will now use my compass. I will insert the pencil and ensure that and ensure that the point of the pencil and the compass point they are balanced. Now ensure that your compass is always tight. Tight by using a screwdriver to tighten the screw. Now you will open your compass to more than half of the length of the line. The line will be called AB. Now I will open my compass to more than half of AB. You do, do not need to take any measurement. Just ensure that your compass is open to more than half of AB. I will now put my compass at A. I will scribe an arc. I will then put it at B and scribe an arc. Now, when putting it at B, ensure that your compass radius it remains the same. You should not extend or retract the compass any at all. Now, what I have is now two arcs intersecting each other at this point and also at this point. I will now use my pencil and draw a line. 
through the intersection of both arcs, right? Now, this line that I am going to draw is called the bisector because it is bisecting the line A, B. Now, we must ensure that the line we are going to draw will pass through the intersection of these two arcs right here perfectly. Now, it's, I am now going to draw an, a, 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 the final line, C, C, D. Now, from the center here to C should measure 2.5 centimeters, and from here upwards to, to D will measure the same 2.5 centimeters. So I will now use my pencil and outline. So, so from the center, I'm gonna, gonna go up 2.5 centimeter and also down 2.5 centimeter. Now there I have my line C, D. Now, if I take my set square, what I will realize is that I have a 90 degree angle right there. I also have a 90 here, perfect 90, and also a perfect 90 this over here and done by this section now if I take my my set square and measure from the center we are going to call the center O we will call our center O so right at this center will be called O so from OB and OA I should be getting a measurement of two Point five centimeters. Right, so I'm getting my 2.5 centimeters on both sides from AO, 2.5 centimeters, and from OB, 2.5 centimeters. And that is how we bisect a line into equal parts, right? I am now going to draw a random line. Now, I did not have any measurement for this line, and I am also going to bisect this line. Then prove that when a line is bisected, it will, you will get equal measurements on both sides of the line. So open your compass to more than half of the length of the line. Then we are gonna scribe arcs. Five arcs from both ends of the line. And our compass point is inserted exactly at the end of the line. Now where the arcs intersect, I will now draw a line through the intersection of both arcs. A 
and now I can see that I've just bisected the line I drew. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to use my, my set square. I'm getting a 90 degree. Also another 90. Another 90 degree angle. And finally, another 90 degree angle. I will now label the points. Now I will take my compass and I am going to put it at AO. Right, that's the radius or the length of AO. And I'm also going to test BO to see that it's the same exact measurement. Now notice I did not move my compass. Same exact measurement. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.